My name is uh, Keith L. Moore, and uh, I'm a professor emeritus uh, and former chairman of anatomy and associate dean of uh, basic medical sciences uh, at the University of uh, Toronto in Toronto, Canada. I did these notes for the students because there wasn't in any embryology book at that time. So I put them in the, in the bookstore and they charged them $10 to get this big thing. Of, I had actual pictures of the uh, ones that had malformations and so on. And then one of the uh, representatives from W.B. Saunders, which is, you know is, a, is a, uh, an imprint of Elsevier now, and they picked, he picked up this booklet in there and looked at it and said, oh, this is wonderful stuff. And uh, he came down to me and he said, well, you know, should try to get that published. And I said, well, I didn't do it for that, but I said it would be a nice idea. So I wrote a chapter in the way it would be and sent it down. And about three weeks later, I got uh, uh, talked to the editor-in-chief uh, and uh, he uh, started to, to do the book. It took me about three years uh, to uh, write the book. and. Uh, but I, before I started, though, I said, I have to have some money. I had research grants, but I couldn't use that money to do this. So they gave me $10,000 for getting a, a medical artist to, to do the, the, some of the th things that we had. And uh, so then I told the dean that I was going to do this. And he gave me $10,000. In those days, there's 20000 It was a fair bit to get going to get all the pictures that I had. And I worked very closely with the hospital. It was just right across where I was. And I used to, when they would see something unusual uh, in the, and when they were in the, doing the uh, surgery or whatever, they'd call me in and I'd go in and look at it and tell them what, what the problem was and so on. We taught nurses, uh, physician assistants and so on. So I felt they didn't need the bigger book. So I did the little book. And it only took them a year because it just it got smaller. And uh, so uh, that, that was very successful too. And it still, still is, although the medical students would uh, see the big book and that's what they would recommend. But when they got to go in for an exam, they, they soon learned that they could take the little book, which was like a Reader's Digest. They could, in a, on a weekend, they could study uh, all they, uh, they need to know to pass the exam. So actually, they end up buying both. I think, I think it's been a very good experience. As I say, my first book was in 1973, and uh, that uh, was immediately very popular, and that's why they kept letting me. If any time I had an idea to write a book, I did it, and uh, so uh, I, I think it's it's been helpful to people, especially people come up to me all over the world, and I've been to practically every place in this world uh, because they invite you to go there and, and talk, and. Uh, so that makes me feel good that, that I've been able to help them uh, teach in a better way. Because if you're a student, that's where I started when I was doing that. They wouldn't tell you why, why you were doing all this anatomy or embryology and so on. And I said, well, I want to know why we're learning that. So that's where uh, I could uh, go to the hospital. I was working over there. And so uh, that changed the way we taught. Uh, embryology, but also an anatomy.